Yes, sir, I understand. Roger. Out. Morning, sir. Captain Jample said you wanted to see me. That's right, Lieutenant. I've got a recon job for you. See this bridge here? Yes, sir. When the battalion moves forward tomorrow morning, that bridge is going to be on our flank. I want your platoon to knock it out before the attack begins and make it tough on the crowds. Well, that's a demolition job, sir. I thought you said it was recon. I did. The terrain around that bridge is rough. I want you to pick out the best way in beforehand. In the end. You must be kidding, Colonel. That freight's not an airplane. I tell you, Colonel, I've seen better looking kites. Lieutenant Brannigan reporting, sir. I hope we didn't get in your way, Lieutenant. The kite you're referring to, Lieutenant, happens to be a U.S. Army liaison on observation aircraft. Also known as an L-4. Where's the guy I gotta take up, Colonel? Lieutenant Hanley. Oh. <laughs> you ever have those boondockers off the ground before, Lieutenant? I'm not sure I want them off the ground in that bag of nuts and bolts, Lieutenant. So much for free flight. You got any questions on this? No, sir. We pick the easiest approach to the bridge from the air, go in on foot tomorrow and blow it. Right, but don't go all the way to the bridge. If you spot it, it'll tip the mission. Yes, sir. Oh, and Hanley, don't let Brannigan bother you. Oh, no more than a summer rash, Colonel. Okay, Grand Ponder, you ready? Good luck, Hanley. At least. Go on, Colonel. Uh... Hey, Sergeant. Yes, sir. You ever trapped one of these things before? No, sir. Why don't you give it a try? Oh. Well, I can see you've never been on the good old single-engine high-wing monoplane before. Lieutenant, let's just get this heap off the ground and do what we've got to do. Right Switch on!
around, Patty. You look a little green. Relax. Enjoy. When I get home. where you're going. Think you can find the way? I'll try. A little turbulence. Yeah. Good, huh? You know... Some guys come unglued up here. I can never understand why. I can. <laughs> you know, with me, it's just the opposite. When I'm on the ground, everything gets in my hair. Is that wing supposed to flap? Who wants a stiff wing? Want to see a bird? You learn to fly in the army? No, no. Town pastures, county fairs, that kind of thing. Through the mail for a while. Spent a few years up in Alaska, bush pilot. When I joined up, they saw my fight record, they says, Brannigan, the Army Air Corps for you, B-17s. And I says, no thank you. You call that flying? I call that flying a freight train across the sky. I'll drop a wing. What? So you can see better, Lieutenant. When you come back here on foot tomorrow, you and your boys can shimmy right up that ridge. Looks like it ought to be real easy. Too easy. Too exposed. That gully looks better. Lots of cover. Shouldn't be too far from that bridge. Over the next hill. All right, make thanks to home. Hey, Hanley. Yeah? Tell you what. When we get home, I'll let you buy me a beer. Me buy you? <laughs> There'd be no Germans around here. That was the picture. Sure would like to find out their strength. Can you get any closer? Follow me. I better call in the radio working. As soon as we get a little more altitude. Leute, 
Red dot. Red dot. Gas tank. Radio took a slug. Red dot. It's dead. Not to mention us. Lucky soon, we gotta find a place to set you down. Soon. If we can make it over those hills, the Germans might not know we're going down. Get this thing in the bushes. Huh? 